We're back to candle our eggs. And we're going to start with the eggs in the incubator that behaved this week, which luckily just happens to be eggs 1 through 14. So let's take a look at egg number 1. Hopefully you guys got to take a look at that other video before watching this one so that you could remember what it looked like on day seven. We have a whole lot more dark in the egg now, but you can see some defined veins. And you can see a pretty big shadow in there. And if you look close, you can see it moving. I know the video quality isn't great. You guys see that? Oh, I hope you see it. Number one is alive and kicking. Awesome. So it was a one, it was a yes last week. And it is, again, a yes this week. Now, moving on to egg number two, which was also a yes last week. Oh, good signs. Looks about the same. And we have movement. Oh, I hope you guys are getting a good view of this. It's not coming out quite as clear as it did last week on my video, but we have a lot less light coming through the eggs. Awesome. They're putting on a show for you again this week. Number two is growing good. Now, move on to number three, which I have down as a yes. This one definitely does not look like the others, does it? But it was a yes last week. And we can see that dark spot right there. Which was an embryo that started. But unfortunately, it is not far along like our other ones. So chances are, something made it stop growing. So we're going to change number three, unfortunately, to a no. That one quit. On to number four. Well, looks like we have the same situation. We definitely have an embryo that looks like it started in there. But for some reason, decided to quit on us. So, we'll change number four to a no. On to number five, one of our little green eggs. These were hard to look through. But there you have it, folks. Our little bantams are growing. See those veins? You can see the shadow moving in there. Luckily, 
Number five is still a yes. On to number six, which is our other green, little green bantam. has some good movement. These guys are all very little eggs, so it's hard to cover that light for you. Number six is a yes. On to number seven, which was also a yes last week. You guys see those veins? That shadow moving around in there. Sorry, the camera is blurring just a bit, but it's hard when the light fluctuates like that. some good movement for you. Awesome. Another yes. Number seven. On to number eight. one of our bigger eggs. Definitely jumping around in there. You can see all those defined veins. <laughs> Another yes. On to number nine. More good signs. big dark embryo in there. There's some movement for you. Apologize for the light shining. I'm trying to tilt these just right so that you can get a good show. Awesome, great movement. On to number 10. Let's 
see a nice big dark spot, some good veins. And some exercising. Very nice. On to number eleven. You can really see the air cell defined up in the top of that. Good veins. I'm seeing movement. I'm not sure if it's coming through on this. There we go. That one kicked for you. It's hard for me to look at the egg and the screen to make sure you guys are able to see as well. Eleven's a growing. Number 12. What do you guys think? What do you guys see? Nice big vein. You see the nice big shadow in there? There you go. Some movement for you guys. Proof of life in there. On to number 13, which if you're keeping track, last week I wrote down that it started, but I wasn't quite sure if I saw movement. What do you guys think? That looks about the same as it did last week. So we're going to change that from a maybe to a no. It started. You see the dot there. But it's got this vein that just sits there. So that means it quit pretty early on. And number 14, the last one in this incubator, we had also as started, but quit. As you can see, there's that little line of blood sitting in one vein. It started, but quit pretty early. 
All right, that's it for incubator number one. Now we're on to the replacement incubator with our black roosters embryos. And this is the one we're worried about. So let's take a look. We'll start with number 15. Number 15 we had down is started, but quit. And it still looks the same as last week, so it definitely quit. Now we'll go on to number 16. Now 16 we had down as a yes. It was a very dark shell, so you could not get a good image of it, but I could see in there. Let's see. What we've got. Let me move my screen so that I can see what you're seeing. So it's a very dark shelled egg. But if you compare it to the video from last week, there's a lot more dark area in it. Only a little bit at the bottom is lighting up, but I see good veins in there. And I see that line moving. You're not going to be able to see it. But down here, where the light shines through, I can see that shadow moving. So that embryo is still good. I'm excited. 16 is a yes. Number 17. Last week we had as a yes. Very promising. A lot of dark. We have movement. I'm hoping we get to keep all of our yeses that we had this week. And that they all make it to next week and hatch for us. Seventeen is still growing. Let's go on to eighteen. Now 18 we had as started but quit last week. And yep, you can kind of see that one vein just kind of rested there right after it started. So that one's a new. Number 19, last week was a yes. Let's see if it survived. Very promising. Oh, it's even moving so the light will show up for you. It's a darker brown shelled egg. It's not as dark as the green eggs. There you have it. Still alive and kicking, and growing. Let's go on to number 20, which is another one of these dark green eggs. We had it down as a yes. I'm 
unfortunately, you're probably not going to get to see too much. But in this case, that's a good thing. veins see the dark line with the light shining through and movement this one's still growing too On to 21. Now if you're looking at your notes, number 21 was a no. And we determined it was not fertile. It hadn't even started. So as you can see, it still looks the same. All you see is just a yolk. No veins, no starting. So it was probably never fertilized. All right, on to 22. Another one of these dark ones, but we have it down as a yes from last week. Apologize that you guys don't get a good view of this. It would be different in a classroom, but we're trying to do this on the internet for you. But there are definite veins down here. I don't know if you can see that. Hopefully you're in a dark room watching this video. But this is a yes moving and growing. One more. Number 23 is our last egg and last week it was a yes. Very good. Nice veins, nice filling out of the egg and movement. Oh, how I wish you guys could see this in person next year. For sure. All right, there we have it, folks. 23 is good. So, so far, so good with our, even with our trouble this week. These guys are growing good, so keep your fingers crossed and let's hope for a hatch next week. Bye for now. See you soon.